think it started. We have delayed and clicking on YouTube to start. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Is it working? Can guys, can you all hear me? Mm. I'm gonna go on the live chat and I'm gonna tell you hi, just to know if it's working. Welcome to the to this week's live stream. I'm Ruben Acid, and I'm so happy to have you here. I will be prompting on ChatGPT once or twice per week. I'm not sure yet, but what's for sure is that I want to answer all of your questions and I want us to take a bit of time to be calm, to be steady, and to actually use ChatGPT, not just the fuzzy thing, not the buzzwords, not the cool shiny thing, but to actually solve problems. And I wanted to do it together. So I'm gonna say hi in the chat. Hi guys, how are you? And, uh, okay, I, say, I see Osama Fahim says hi. Um, just a way for me to know uh, you're here with me. Uh, what's up, Osama? You're good? Um, so, uh, I see Oyetoro Obadia. Hi, Oyetoro. That would be nice if you guys tell me where you're from. Feshnavi Damiseti. Hi. Uh, if you can put like your, hey, Harley, you were, uh, Hayley, sorry, you were there. Last time I remember. Um, that's awesome. Um, I'm joining from Nigeria. Well, welcome. Welcome. Let's check. Um, I see Manju Gupta said hello. I am from South Australia. All right. That's cool. And I'm from India. Um, I can say Namaskar in Hindi but maybe that's totally not your language because in India, there are a lot of languages <laughs> and I only know Namaskar for now, but maybe you can teach me some of them. From South Africa, Hayley, awesome. Um, so again, um, I'm here because I wanna prompt and uh, I wanna do it with you. And the idea, always keep an eye on, on what you're doing. The idea is to improve the AI hub. So my AI hub is where I have all of my content, um, all of my best prompt. And the goal is for us to improve it, create new prompts together. Everything that I'm doing on the AI hub um, during the live stream is gonna be uploaded on the AI hub. That's the goal. And today I prepared a few of them that I wanted to do all together. You can put your own recommendation on the live chat and I'll be doing it. But I have one for personalized LinkedIn invitation. I know a lot of you ask me for it. Can we create a personalized LinkedIn invitation? Hi, Gigi. Um, and um, I wanted to do one with uh, a cold email, personalized cold email from a LinkedIn profile again. And I wanted to do one that is a bit different this time. This one is how to use the tree of thought technique to brainstorm. So I made um, a draft for now and I'm gonna improve those prompts, test it. And if it's good enough, we're gonna put it in the AI hub. I see Osama saying, how can I access the AI hub? So the AI hub is, um, it's, one, um, it's, it's a one-time payment of $39. You pay once, you have access to it forever, and it's weekly lifetime updates. And if you want to have a look on how it, how it is, uh, this is the AI Hub. So you have a ChatGPT prompt library, you see, per category. Uh, my GPT agents, I'm going to add more, especially in January. So this month, I should add a new one. Maybe we're going to do a live stream, or I'm actually creating one altogether. Then I have my MidJourney library. You can check uh, all the styles that I use on MidJourney. You can check um, all the prompts that I use on MidJourney. So you can copy it directly and then use it uh, to have the exact same uh, image. And of course, the most important one is this one, which is if you want to go for marketing, marketing, you have some prompts. If you click on a prompt, you even have 
the whole example on ChatGPT. So here you have the prompts that you can use, the template, and you can even see me having a conversation using that prompt. So you can get inspired by my follow-up, my follow-up prompt. And uh, yeah, the idea behind the AI Hub is it is not the 10,000 prompt library. This is the right prompt library, the right ones, only the good ones, only the one that I tested, experiment, uh, experimented with, and I shared on the AI Hub. My goal is not to make like thousands and thousands of them, but just the right ones and upgrade them over and over so that you only have the best. Actually, it's not just you. I also want to only have the best. I am a cybersecurity risk specialist. How can I make a prompt for it? Um, what's, your, um, what's your need? Because it's quite vague. It's quite big. Um, you need to know what to ask. This is sometimes harder than the actual task. Um, if you don't mind, Osama, I'm going to um, start with the one I prepared. Um, and then we're going to jump on your request. So I wanted to do one for um, personalized LinkedIn invitation. So this one's probably going to be in sales in cold email, I'm guessing. I think it would be the best. And um, the idea that I had was to do a prompt where you could put the link of a LinkedIn post. Uh, no problem, Osama. You could put the LinkedIn link of a, of, of a person and it would generate the best uh, invitation possible. Uh, you probably have some tools doing it, but you have to pay for it. Um, and I don't think you should pay for such things. Uh, obviously you cannot scale doing it, by that I mean you cannot create a hundred hyper-personalized invitation. But here, this is not the goal. Here I actually wanna do something different, which is um, making one that works instead of a hundred. So I prepare like a first draft. We're gonna go over the first draft and see if it's actually good. So uh, I always start with act like, and then who I want ChatGPT to be an expert in. So it's a sales communication and email marketing expert. Uh, with this specialization, you have a lot of experience. You understand the nuances, blah, 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 perfect. The task is not to create a detailed guide, but Tech is to generate one short and impactful invitation, invitation note known following a connection request on LinkedIn. And then we take out this. Uh, here are the step-by-step -step, uh, instru instructions. So you have, um, I would say, I like to say always like first, second, third, it's like steps. And then I can, and, and then I can end the prompt with take a deep breath and work on this problem step-by-step, -step, which is from an academic paper that showed that this works and from my experience it works <laughs> just as simple as that so first uh, analyze these two links from my prospect um, from my prospect link one is the profile page of my prospect, prospect, link to is the recent post from my prospect, pros, pros, I don't know how to write in English anymore, I'm sorry, prospect, uh, link one is the profile page of my prospect, link two is the recent, uh, is the recent post, a prospect, okay, then uh, second, uh, uh, brainstorm 
10 completely different opening lines to capture my prospect's attention. See, I had a first draft, it's from ChatGPT, but I'm always, this is the way I do it. Uh, the first draft is from ChatGPT, it gives me a bit of idea, then I'm like recreating it. So this, I don't need it. Uh, in the end, uh, brainstorm 10 completely different closing line. I'm gonna copy this. I put here brainstorm 10 completely different closing lines for the perfect call to action. Um, and now I want to try it, see if it works. Maybe that's too simple. My guess is that it's for now too simple, but I want to try. So we're going to go on my LinkedIn. So we're going to be in the, how to say that? Inside the machine. <laughs> Receiving some completely random, how, how are you from James McClintic, who's a meteorologist, who knows why I received that message right away. Um, by the way, I made this post on, uh, on how to write a post, uh, how to make um, TED Talks using ChatGPT, this prompt, I made it on the live stream. Uh, uh, we did it together last week and I'm probably gonna do a post again next week from this live stream again. So you're, you're the first one to actually see it. Uh, let's try to take a pretty complex um, profile and see how it works. For example, if I wanted to send a connection request to Tom Alder. Actually, wait. I can try with someone I'm not connected to. So then we can actually try it live. Some of you might say, yeah, but Ruben, you have a lot of followers. So the person is going to accept the invitation, but at least I need to try, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to go on the home page and try to search for someone I'm not connected to. So uh, I'm connected, I'm connected, connected, connected. I'm looking for a second here. It's funny how there are very little amount of seconds on my feed. Mm, connected, connected. Uh, let's check in the comments of this post. So connected, connected. Connected, 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 connected. Wow. Okay. Ash Roy. Uh, he sent me a connection request. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm, I'm going to find someone, I swear. I promise. Uh, um, so we're going to load the comments again. Maybe you, you can't see it, actually. I, can, I should zoom. That's the kind of stuff you can see on, on, my, on the chat. I'm reading the chat like every few minutes. Uh, so if you want to say hi or you have any specific question or requirement, you can always jump in. Um, let's try Jennifer Welch, which is the um, wife of Justin Welch. Uh, I'm following her for a long time. She never accepted my connection request. So maybe now is the time. Um, so I'm going to take her li uh, link above and I'm going to go here and I'm going to put the link here. And then I want ChatGPT to see on all posts all of her recent posts. Um, so if I do this, I should go on post, I think. Yes. Uh, I'm going to copy this and paste it here. My first, uh, my first guess is that it's not going to work. Probably because LinkedIn is going to put some barrier into that person's profile. A lot of websites are not available uh, on ChatGPT. I'm going to explain myself. When you put a link on ChatGPT, doesn't mean that ChatGPT can obviously scrape it and go into it. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. And the reason why is that some companies blocked ChatGPT. So the ChatGPT cannot process, browse the internet and cannot go to their uh, website. 
they probably blocked it because they didn't want ChatGPT to kind of scrape their uh, their um, website, and I can understand why. But let's try still, and if it doesn't work, I can find a workaround. So I'm using ChatGPT4, and I would advise you to do it. So I'm going to do enter. Uh, I see 11 people. Uh, oh, you see. Enable. I knew it. Um, I see 11 people. So uh, connected. If you want to say hi, you can always say hi and tell me where you're from. I would love, I'd love to know. Um, okay. So enable to access LinkedIn profile and post directly to website due to website restriction. I told you about it. Um, is there a way? We can do better. Yes, there is a way. We can edit the prompt. And instead of asking for links, I want you first analyze the last post from my prospect. Between, and now if you know me, you know I love using angle brackets. Between angle brackets. And here I'm going to use angle brackets and it's going to be post. And I'm going to use another one with the closing. So you open the, the thing and you close it and now you can put the post here. And, but also analyze the about section of my prospects between angle brackets. And here I'm going to put angle brackets and it's going to be about section. About section and about section again. Um, we can even put the link of the person and check their website here and I'm going to put their website because I'm guessing she has a website. So we go here again and I'm going to check her last post. Wow. She's not posting. What the hell? Um, that's crazy. Okay. Her last post was seven months ago. Okay. That's probably not, not a good uh, example. I'm sorry. Um, we need to find a better one. So Beth Ward, let's try with her. Perfect. Um, so she has a newsletter here. Let me read it first. I'm going to copy this and put it on the website. Then she has, this is her last post. I'm going to copy it and paste it on post. Lastly, she has an about section. And I'm going to go on about section and I'm going to do it. You might ask hey Ruben, <laughs> it takes way too long to do all of that. Yeah, but I'm giving you like tips to actually uh, connect with one person, not to scale and um, do nothing. Um, I mean, from unper unpersonalized stuff, I couldn't find her about section. So we're going to do this. I'm going to just put her headline and save it and submit. We'll see how it goes. So for those who just arrived, you can say hi in the live chat. I'm gonna say, hi, where are you from? How can I help you? What kind of prompt you are looking for? Just to show you I'm not an AI and I can actually <laughs> have a conversation with you. How crazy. So, um, so, okay. I can already see a problem, um, which is very typical with prompt on ChatGPT is the use of 
like super fancy words. So here um, I'm going to edit. And also for the website, I want ChatGPT to actually uh, and browse the internet to go on their website, to go on their website. Okay. And um, re at the end, I like to say, remember, avoid fancy jargon. Use conversational uh, um, middle school English. Let's try. Why middle school? Otherwise, it's way too complex. We don't want complex stuff. Okay. Okay. So, ChatGPT checked the website. Um, So we can see what's going on. Okay, now the, the words are like, <laughs> there is no more ethos or some random stuff. Um, and now I can select the best opening line and the best closing line. I would advise you to stick it to two lines. It's more than enough. Um, Awesome, let's pick one out of the 10. I'd like to ask you which one's your favorite, but it feels like everyone's, no one's here and chatting with me. So I'm gonna be the one selecting it. <laughs> and if you, if you watch me uh, later and not live, you might think I'm crazy. And the answer is yes, I am completely crazy, uh, but all good. So number one, number two, Okay. I want something simple. I guess this one, I like it. I like this one. So I'm gonna go and connect, add a note and paste it here. And then I'm going to take a closing line. We'd love to exchange more insight on social media strategy. How about we connect? I believe our shared passion for social media can lead to enriching conversation. That's way too complex. So again, we can say, I want simpler closing lines. Or we edit the closing lines. They must be super short and simple. Do a mix of five questions and five affirmative sentences. Save and submit. So I'm probably going to have different opening lines and it's fine. I'm looking for a closing line, but maybe the opening lines are going to be even better. So we'll see. So again, I see no one in my live chat. I guess you guys don't want to chat with me. No, I'm just kidding. All good. Uh, maybe you have nothing to say. But remember, I'm, 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 I chose to make a live stream so I can actually interact with you. Um, think of it like a discussion between us. Uh, okay, so opening lines. Um, I prefer the one I picked. Oh, Haley said, I'm listening. Cool. Happy to hear Haley. If you have anything that you feel like deserves a prompt, I'll be happy to try it. Oh, yeah, Doris says I'm with you. Awesome. So, um, 
let's check the closing line. Shall we connect and explore this further? Interesting and a quick chat about social media strategies. Yeah. So it's funny that, okay, let's collaborate on it. No, it's too complex. Okay. I have to ask for fewer words. Maximum three to five words. Simple words. Sometimes you have to repeat a hundred times the same thing. They must be super short. Yep. Um, let's check. I wonder if we, put, we should put like a, a light music in the background when I'm doing stuff like this. Yeah, we should, like some jazz. Okay, that's my second live stream. I'm upgrading. If you were there last week, that was probably super buggy and laggy. I'm sorry. Um, also now, I'm not, I'm not in my actual office. I'm searching for a real office. And you'll see like a better... Uh, an improvement of the quality. That's my goal. Okay, now that's stuff that I like. Let's connect, collaborate soon. That's that's something. Uh, that's good. That's good stuff. So, um, maybe keen to connect, ready to learn. And maybe ready to learn more. That's where you should be, you know, creative. And I'm going to send it. We'll see how it goes. My guess is that it's going to work because I know the Radcliffe Wazels and she's working with them. So let's try another one to really be, um, I don't know how to say it, but to, to be authentic. Ruben, have you played with prompts, design, repeat patterns in Midrani for fabric printing? Um, Haley. Um, interesting question. I would have two things to tell you. One, if you have access to my AI hub and you paid the $39, I have a mid journey prompt library, like all the prompts that I did. I have some product shots. So for example, stuff like this, stuff like this. So I have some product shot. Like if you want exactly this, you can copy and you'll have my exact prompt. Thanks, Noah. Thanks for purchasing. Uh, um, and then I have design, so you have some, some stuff here as well, but maybe what you need is actually here on the style library. And this is more like artists you want to get inspired from. Um, so for what you said, you said printing, fabric printing, maybe texture patterns. I have, I have patterns, maybe that kind of stuff. So. Oh, for example, this guy. You see, if you put Hassan Ajaj, you're going to have that kind of style. And if you put Serge Atouké, uh, you have that, that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, you can have a look. I'm adding also prompts uh, from moment to moment. You have also another thing that I want you to have a look. It's my Midrani uh, agent. And you said, uh, uh, you said, repeat patterns for fabric printing. I don't know if it's gonna. So this this mid journey prompt generator, it's something that I did, so that if you put this, it's gonna create multiple prompts on mid journey. But I would be more precise. Are you looking for a dress? Are you looking for an ad? Uh, yeah, you see, it's funny. It's the first time I see this, that my agent is like, dude, I don't know how to do this. Uh, usually do a pretty good job at doing it. Um, but you have some stuff here. You see, you even have inspired by some guys. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, if we have time, once I finish the prompt on ChatGPT, I can try to go on mid journey and do what you asked. Okay. Um, so here, I wanted to find someone I'm not connected to. 
uh, let's try let's try to find someone raven raven p um, let's try to connect I don't know someone I'd like to be connected to uh, no no sail bloom um, probably not he's but maybe someone who's oh this guy Leonard grape okay let's try Leonard grape um, so you have I'm gonna go here uh, edit it and we said we need to find the last post and the about section so that's the about section it's a pretty good one it's a long one so where is the about section it's here I'm gonna copy and paste then we have the last post right uh, last post it's here so I'm gonna go and click on their last post it's 42 minutes I'm gonna copy this and delete the one from before and put the one from I don't remember his name <laughs> Leona and then we had a last thing oh yeah if the guy has a link and he has one so we click on the link we copy it I don't even know what's the link I don't even want to check it this is how much I trust ChatGPT. maybe I should not and I'm gonna delete this and normally if we save and submit we should have a nice invitation for our friend Leonard Grape Leonard if you're with us please accept the invitation so that I can flex afterwards just kidding Haley said it's for ladies fashion I print my own fabrics we're gonna try for sure okay about section analysis opening lines see I don't even know the guy and I can say inspired by the podcast impact on CPG founders okay um, let's try one I like this one I would put it like a simpler version to be honest so connect add a note maybe not impact but podcast on CPG founders and then uh, uh, let's connect simple I like simplicity and it's sent we'll see if if it works uh, maybe next live stream okay so that's one prompt I'm gonna rename it um, example of LinkedIn invitation note and I'm gonna put it in um, I'm gonna put it in the AI hub so you have access to it I want to do two more prompts but my lady Haley said she wants to try something so um, let's try I'm gonna use literally the, the um, I don't know how to speak English anymore my GPT agents I'm gonna try it see if I was too far off or not you said ladies fashion so let's try it that way so I'm on mid journey now go imagine copy paste oh that's not the one sorry that's the one copy this and paste it here boom um, and I'm gonna try another one on my on my uh, what's the name on my thing um, so ladies fashion uh, you said repeated repeated patterns for fabric printing let's see if my agent is good enough to tackle it and at the same time let's watch what he wanted to do before I'm 
guessing he's gonna have a hard time maybe but let's see maybe it's gonna give you some idea i think that by the way Haley, that's the best way to use midjourney is to be inspired so for now for example we have this it's not perfect but i mean it's pretty interesting um I think on D6, so the latest version of of, of Mid Journey, you cannot uh, unzoom, uh, which is probably what you want to have. So what I would do is I would copy this, go on image, imagine, I would paste the prompt, and not V6, which is the latest version, but V5.2, and with the 5.2 version you can actually unzoom infinitely and if you're looking for repeated patterns that would be perfect because then you'll have like these gigantic patterns unzoomed and then you can even go deeper and you can ask for a 4k version of a super unzoomed patterns and i'm guessing that would be perfect for you or maybe i'm wrong <laughs> and, and and you you can send me an invoice and i'll be very sorry let's let's check if the agents find something okay we can try a geometric abstract design inspired by boho's let's try let's try another one okay we try the two of them and i want a v5.2 we said and we go so you see kind of the same style v6 was better to be honest i don't know v6 is it has some spice um Oh, you need to use style at the end, which create the repeated patterns. That's true. You know that I never use that parameters. Uh, it's funny how on Mid Journey, I don't use even half of the parameters. Um, I forgot about that. You're right. Uh, but the way I would have done it is I've created U1 and then uh, you zoom out and you upscale and you zoom out and you upscale and you zoom out. For Boho's, ugh. It's not really good, I'm sorry. Um, but let's see how the unzoom is doing. Uh, if any of you, just like Haley, have a question, I'll happily answer it and, and, and try it. Um, um, so let's jump into another prompt. Um, so now we did the LinkedIn invitation. Now I'd like to do something on tree of thoughts. Does anyone know what's a tree of thoughts? And now I'm gonna pretend like everyone's like, no, we don't know. Well, let me show you. Uh, when you go on the tree of thoughts, um, it's a way of uh, to analyze and find solution to a problem. Uh, let's say you want to go to a restaurant well maybe you want to ask people and one of them says indian another one says chinese another one says italian food um thank you appreciate it no problem Haley. so you have those three restaurants and then it, let's say you say i want italian food now that you said italian food those three people says oh you want italian food so you can have Bolognese, you can have tiramisu and you can have pizza. And now you say pizza. And now the three people keeps giving you advice. So they know it's Italian, they know it's pizza. And now they say margarita. Now they say whatever pineapple weird pizza you want to have. And a third pizza, which would be Napolitan or whatever. So Tree of Thoughts is this idea that you select one of the few options and once you selected that option, you have many more linked to that option, kind of like a tree in a way. Um, and, and it's a very powerful way to brainstorm, by the way. So I'd like to, I'd like to test it. Um, and I'd like to make a prompt for it. Before that, we have this for my lady Haley. Um, I select any of them I'm sorry that the live stream is a bit messy but you can pause you can go back um, really have fun doing it um, hey Leonard answered 
it works. <laughs> Invitation works. But now I feel a bit stupid because he, he said, have you listened to any of the episodes? <coughs> um, yes, I did, right? Or ChatGPT did, I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I can use ChatGPT to have, to have a summary of the nice podcast this guy did. But maybe that's too much. Um, thank you so much, Ruben. I am a beginner. What would you suggest for me in learning how to use Midjourney in Delhi effectively? For Midjourney, I have a lot of resources on the AI Hub. I also have a course on Midjourney. And if you cannot afford any of that, then YouTube and Twitter. Uh, for Delhi, Delhi is Delhi is not good enough for making images, I have to say. Midjourney is miles away. It's not even close to Delhi. Uh, I know it's uh, convenient to use Delhi because it's right in, in ChatGPT, but it's just not gonna be as good as Midjourney. So I guess the invitation thingy worked. Um, and here we have the print and we're gonna use Zoom out again. Hopefully we get something interesting. Um, back to this we want to create a prompt for tree of thought brainstorming and i'm going to put it in the ai hub in business and brainstorming so for now we have the simon Sinek golden circle which is a very cool one um, and we want to have a new one for tree of thoughts so let's do it act like an experienced business strategist and creative thinker Yes, you have a deep background in facilitating brainstorming session for corporate teams with over 20 years of experience. Yes. Is to create for a brainstorming session. This tree of thoughts should be tailored for um, So no, we don't need this. The goal is to generate a wide range of ideas covering potential products, marketing strategy, value provision. I will select the one I like and you will keep it iterating on the three of thought technique for example if I want to eat something you will first say one Italian two Chinese three Indian and if I select Italian You will then offer three different Italian recipes. Okay. Be as creative as possible. I like to always ask for creativity. It works. Um, then for each branch, Delve deeper into subcategories. Yes. 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 I will be the one leading you, leading the brainstorming session. You will execute following my selections. We are missing just one thing, it is context. Need to know is between angle brackets. So angle brackets. Now you start to know that I love angle brackets. If you don't, well, <laughs> please do. <laughs> and um, I'm going to call it context, copy, context, slash. And uh, 
I need tree of thoughts brainstorming session to know on which platform I should create content, what kind of content I should create, how often, what should be the hooks for these content. Let's try. Oh, unusual activity from your system. No, I'm, I swear I'm, I'm a cool guy. Okay. What? Oh, uh, maybe if I regenerate. Yes. Let's see. Remember, um, number one is usually not the right one. What else? Let's see. Um, I see eight of you being with me. Uh, again, if you have any question, I'll happily answer it. If you have any question, shoot, I'll answer it. Okay, my message didn't went through. Maybe it's taking a bit of time. Uh, Okay. So, okay. So, what is ChatGPT saying about us? Blah, blah, blah. Platform, content type, post frequency, hook, content hooks. Okay. No. I didn't do the right job on my prompt. I need to remake it. Um, maybe it's the context. To help me be a better content creator. Maybe if... To help me choose a niche for content creation. That's a question people keep asking me, how do I choose my niche? So maybe you need a brainstorming session with Mr. GPT. Um, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I want it to, it's good, but I want it to be done step by step. So maybe here. Start with the first part of the tree. Only go on to the next step. Once I selected the path of the tree of thoughts. This is why we need some heavy prompting. Um, okay, so what do we have? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now it's asking, please select one path and then I'm going to give you a bit more. Uh, again, I'm going to give you 15 seconds to tell me if you have one that you'd like to go for, because I don't mind, I can go with any one of them. Um, 
if you want to make it interactive i know there is a slight delay between what i say and the live stream but if you have any of those one two three four five six which one would you pick for me to choose uh, i'm going to use it for the example let's see so we're making a prompt on the tree of thought technique it's a brainstorming um, te uh, technique it's a pretty powerful one it's like a tree you start with the problem and you choose one pass of the solution and then another one following that solution and then until you get to the core of it so i'm gonna put a message one two three four five four six and i already see oyetoro who said four i kind of want to go for four now he was the fastest um, but i'm going to give you the benefits of the doubts if there is an army of people saying one two or something else um i have to obey obviously kidding everything's fine so you wanted to go for education and learning um all right gonna put can i put a like on you i don't even know how to do that i'm testing stuff <laughs> testing it okay let's go for number four um i see ai amins who says do you have prompt for writing social media posts in your ai hub it is the most requested things in the entire world so you have marketing in marketing you have social media and you have content calendar and viral post analyzer i will make prompts for instagram for tiktok for youtube description for linkedin post and tweets it's a whole other level. It is way more complex and a single prompt won't cut it. This is why I'm making a SaaS called EasyGen. Don't check the website yet. I'm gonna give you an, a sneak peek right now. Uh, it's gonna be a LinkedIn post generator, okay? So you're gonna be able to make prompts. It's a SaaS, um, but uh, I'm gonna make it available. Hope it answers your question, AI. I mean, um, okay, so, oh, by the way, if Haley is still there, it's pretty nice. Um, let's pick number two, four. Okay, so we selected number four from Oyetoro's suggestion. Great choice. It's uh, a great way. So do you want skill development and career growth? academic subject and e-learning, hobbies and personal interests. I want number three, pick number three. Or maybe you have another one or you told, but here I'm trying to be fast enough. Okay. Let's see what he comes up with. Musical learning series, okay. So again, here I'm gonna show you something. Sometimes the options that ChatGPT gives you are just not good. And here you just say, hey, I don't relate to any of these. And I'm gonna prompt that. Three is fine, said I at all. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so just for the sake of it, I'm gonna say, I don't relate to any of it here try other ones and then you say okay let's try some other stuff gardening creative writing and storytelling Culin culinary arts and baking um, let's pick number two so you see how we went from something very broad and then uh, we went from let me check we went from number four which was education and learning and then hobbies and personal interest education and then i picked um where was it i picked creative writing and storytelling and now refining do you want workshops on different genres interactive story building sessions interviews i like let's pick number two and you see how you're literally brainstorming with ChatGPT. At the beginning, I didn't know I wanted to go for interactive story building sessions. 
but maybe that's what I should be doing. Um, and now you have literally the concept outline, the format. And again, this is a brainstorming session. So you could say, wait, I don't relate to any of that. Brainstorm some others. Bring me some other stuff. So it says to make some YouTube live. I hope YouTube live is a good, uh, good way of doing it. I see 12 people watching it live right now. So again, if you're new to this channel, hello, what's up? I'm Ruben Hasid. I'm doing one or two live stream per week when I'm using ChatGPT, not the fuzzy thing, but to actually solve problems, solve your problems. And we do it together. We take our time. We're not here chasing any FOMO. We're here to take uh, just a moment to appreciate the technology and how to use it. Uh, so we're making mostly mistakes until we get something right. Um, I want to do a quick pause here because I'm making, if Hayley is still here and she wants to say hi, I'm still making your pattern <laughs> for your dress. I want you to do it. Uh, I'm going to try and zoom out again. I love the zoom out uh, option. And then I'm going to do it 4K and I can send it to you if you can uh, share your email. Okay, so here you have a whole, I guess it's the, um, now you can say build the persona of my audience from that choice. Be as precise as possible. I'm just showing you how you can go deeper and deeper. Now we know what, when is Easy Jane going to be ready? Great question. It is ready technically. Um, I want to release it in January. Early February maybe, but January. Uh, that's the goal. That's the target. It's mostly done. Really mostly done. Um, okay, so we have basic demographic. Uh, that kind of persona when you're creating content is key. It's really key. Location. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop him and say, you're not precise enough. Imagine one person, not a range of person. ChatGPT hates to be precise. I'm still here, says Haley. Okay, so while it's making its own stuff, I'm going to go here and wow. Um, I'm going to try with the number three and here at the end, I think we have enough now. I'm going to just upscale it. Maybe the idea of upscaling and zooming out is not, uh, interesting for you. Maybe you want really like a uh, simple patterns uh, over and over again, but I kind of like it. So we're going to wait for me journey to upscale to 4k it's pretty long to up, uh, upscale in 4k but here we have see detail audience persona emma the aspiring storyteller so we are talking to emma johnson in the usa she has a background lifestyle goal and aspiration challenges and pain points media consumption and preferences and now based on this persona creates the title of 10 completely different pieces of content. They should still be on brand with our previous selections. And there we have it, hopefully. We have literally, we, we got to the end of the tree, remember? At the beginning, we just selected education and learning, and now we literally have um, like the name of interactive sessions for copywriting, storytelling nerds in the US who are 26 and wants to do live stream on YouTube. Pretty precise to me. The art of the twist, surprising your readers. See, I have 10 content idea. I have Mystery Mondays, crafting intriguing plot lives. I have Fantasy World Unleashed, building your own universe. Character creation, surprising your readers, 
dialogue dynamics, writing rituals. I want to do them all, <laughs> I have to say. Um, it's a pretty cool way to go from a specific problem, I mean, a pretty broad problem, sorry, to a very specific solution. Um, ChatGPT is really good at three of thoughts. Um, okay, I'm gonna rename it. And this example, uh, tree of thoughts. This example is gonna be on my AI hub on business in brainstorming. I'm gonna add it here. Um, waiting on the 4K upscale. And then we have the time for one last prompt, guys. One last prompt. So we have one, right? Yes, gonna do this. We have two, this guy. Um, and now this is the third one. Oh, hey, Lei, you have your 4K image. I'm gonna open it. If you want me, oh wait, I think I can actually send it to you, like in the chat. That would be awesome. Because <laughs> I've never done this in my life. I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, I'm sending it and you tell me if it works, okay? It's not a virus, it's a bit journey image. Uh, and you can see the whole design. I don't know if it's too dark or if it's interesting enough. Uh, but kind of like it. Some parts are weird, I have to say, yes. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. So let me know in the chat if it worked. I'd love to know. I'd really love to know. Um, and if it doesn't, then I can create a link with WeTransfer and send it to you. But then you're gonna hate it if I do it on WeTransfer. Okay. Last one. What was the point? Uh, I wanted to do a cold email, but pff, it's too boring to do cold emails. I'd love to know what you need. And then I make a prompt out of it. Maybe I can check here. Uh, job search, solopreneur, hmm. what can I do? In marketing, you have marketing campaign, branding, social media. We can do something for hooks on social media. That is stunning, thank you, hey, awesome, Haley. So you can download it now and I'm guessing it's gonna be 4K. I'm super happy that I could provide it to you. Um, if you want the prompt itself, I'm gonna also send it to you on the chat because I'm a nice guy. Um, <laughs> I'm obviously kidding. But, oh, there is a limit on the message I can send. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna tweet it in twofold, okay? So that's one. And that's the parameters right here. And uh, so you can use it. And I had this prompt. I took it from my GPT agents and my GPT agents, you can have it here. Homepage of the AI Hub, this is it. That's the one. You click on it, you have access to it. It's called Midjourney Prompter. Okay, so let's do something for hooks on social media. I wanna do something for hook on social media. And um, um, okay, I wanna go and check if I can do a nice prompt. So. Act like an experienced, experienced social media expert with more than 20 years, uh, 20 years of experience. In digital marketing, capturing people's attention and writing copies. I want you to write the perfect hook for my post. My post is missing a hook, which is the first or three first line of the post. 
you know well that the hook is 80% of the result of a post. It is essential for my job that my hook is perfect. Here it's called emotional prompting. When you say it's important for my job, then, um, then ChatGPT do a better job. I see Haley saying, I'll print it and share the result with you. Like, yes, do it. Actually, if you do it, I can make a post about you sharing how I did a mid-journey prompt and how it got translated into an actual product. Um, if you want to send me a message on LinkedIn saying, hey, I'm Haley, we can have a chat. That would be awesome. Um, <laughs> and it's not generosity. I'm just having live streams. Um, I'm happy to have you here. So you know well that the hook is 80% of the results of a post. It is essential for my job that my hook is perfect. Here is my post between angle brackets and angle bracket post, copy this, and then slash. Uh, I want you to generate 10 different potential hooks. Be creative. Do not use emojis. Do not ask questions. Some of the hooks are one-liner. Some are three-liners with line breaks. And then take a deep breath and blah, 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 which is here. And Remember, avoid any fancy jargon, very important, and take a deep breath. I wanna try like this. My guess is that it's terrible. And the way to try it, wow, I have a lot of connection requests. My last post, I think, went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to just take a post and see if I have one with a bad hook. Uh, I want to find a pose that has a bad hook. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Michael Cassidy, I'm sorry if you're here, but I think we can do something cool. I'm going to try to copy his post and to do it here, to put it here, just as an example. And boom, play. Let's see. Oh yeah, I don't like capital letters at every E. A normal sentence, not all words with capital letters. Letters. Save and submit. Will do, Haley. Awesome. Looking forward. Unlock the secret of blah. No, it needs to be more outside of the box. Be and think outside of the box. Do not use what everyone overused as hooks. Let's see, does it work? You see how fast I'm stopping the generation? That's key. Do not wait for ChatGPT to end the whole generation, like who cares? If you see it's not working, just stop it. You have a little button on the right, but I'm like, you stop it and you edit the prompt. Okay, <laughs> now I have a good one. From ground zero to pull up hero, a journey mapped out for you. Okay, they're just a bit too long. Hooks are short sentences, impactful. Let's try that way. 
does it work? Okay. Okay. He's still saying unveiling the beginner. I don't like it. Be as simple as possible. Here, if the sentence is long, cut it into in two and put a line break. And here I should say do both. Let's try. Okay. He really doesn't want to put line breaks. Oh, he did one. No more excuses. Today you start winning at pull-ups. I love this one. It's a good one. Beginner to pull-up pro, your blueprint to success. It's cool. Pull-ups and just for the strong, they're for those who start. Yeah, that's exactly his post, which says, if you don't know how to do one, you have like several steps to do pull-ups. Uh, we went pretty fast on that prompt, but I have to say it's a good one. Uh, maybe some of you might say no, but I mean, I'm a content creator. I can tell you like, it's pretty good. My favorite one being no more excuse. Today you start winning at pull-ups or maybe you start, yeah, you start doing pull-ups. Um, so this is where you need a bit more creativity. But if you want to brainstorm potential, you can say, I love number four, create 10 different variation. Now, be creative different variation and oh no I said one oopsie I forgot the zero create 10 different variation so now you selected one it's kind of like the tree of thoughts again you see I selected one that I love and now stop waiting start your pull-up journey today yes no more I'll do it tomorrow your pull-up success begins now okay today's the day start conquering pull-ups okay Excuses out, pull-ups in. Start your strengths journey today. No more delays. Okay. Uh, try simpler version now. I just want to try to see if you have some simpler version that could be interesting. Start pull-ups today, not tomorrow. Begin your pull-up today. Uh, no more waiting. Pull-up today. Pull-up start today. Um. Uh, okay. Try a completely different road, uh, uh, way of making a, a hook now. I don't know. I'm just trying different approach. I don't like the unleash elevates. Ugh. Um, Try a hook that starts with you. Let's see how it goes. See how much I'm prompting? That's how much you should be prompting. You're just one pull up away from surprising yourself. I like that one. Pretty simple one. And you can make a combination. Look, um, you can take this. And because what if the first step isn't possible that I'm sorry, Michael, I know the guy, by the way, I love his, what he's doing. You should follow him. I cannot relate to that. What if the first step isn't possible? What do you mean? His post is all about pull-ups. So talk about pull-ups directly. Uh, the way I would do it, I would do it like this. I would put it here. I won't post it by the way. If I'm posting it, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be mad. 
and um, you're on the brink, oh, you can transform, oh, I prefer this. And then I would, um, I'll take another one here. And then maybe you can make a little combination with, I love this one. And I would just do this, do this, do this. And that's a good hook. And now I can copy paste the post itself, which is here. And I'm gonna copy it again, oops. Uh, I think I have to do this first, sorry. Otherwise it's not gonna keep the, um, the formatting, but copy this and Look at this. Now it's a perfect post, not perfect, but the hook is definitely better. Um, so I think I've done it. I was surprised by how fast. That's the magic with ChatGPT. Sometimes the prompt is really fast to do and, and you have good results. And sometimes it takes hours. Now I do have to tell you something. All of the prompts that I'm adding on the AI Hub, which is those three ones that I just did, I'm going to upgrade them. My goal is not to have 10,000 prompts. My goal is to have the best that keeps upgrading so that everyone can enjoy what's best today. Uh, and I'll make sure it's the best today. So um, I think for this one, we're good. Last step is always for me to rename it example, and I'm going to call it perfect hooks. And uh, by tomorrow you will see perfect hook tree of thoughts and LinkedIn invitation notes, those three prompts with the example, with the link, you're going to see it in my AI hub is $39 um, for you to buy it. You go on ribbonacid.ai. Uh, it's a one-time payment, lifetime access, weekly updates for free. Uh, you click here and you can buy. Um, I already bought it because I know the guy who's doing it. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy. I'm kidding, it's me everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's the end of the stream, so I'm even crazier than in the beginning. And uh, this is where I'm gonna put my stuff. Um, maybe in business, yes, in brainstorming, one in marketing and social media, and the last one in sales, cold email. All right. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you, especially Hayley and Oyetoro. Um, who have been quite interactive. Um, I'm going to stop the stream. And uh, for those who are in my WhatsApp, following me on LinkedIn, or uh, purchased the AI Hub, you will receive a ton of content on that to make sure you can squeeze and extract as much as possible from our learning altogether. Um, oh, now we have people. Uh, Charlotte said, thank you. Thank you so much, Charlotte, for being here. And Michael said, how about tools for video creation? It's a very wide topic, too wide. Uh, what do you mean by video creation? Creating uh, videos out of texts, and then it's probably Pika or InVideo, but it's not as good as you'd like it to be. Or you make Midjourney plus Runway to animate some images, or you mean editing videos, and then it's Opus Clip that is the best. Um, hope I answered the question. Um, so, ribbonacid.ai, the AI hub, everything is there. And um, yeah, it's worth every cent. Thank you, Hayley. Uh, appreciate it. Um, all right. Take good care. And I'll see you uh, probably next week. Catch you soon. Bye bye.